we are into the third week of August, and we're still going strong with uh, some uh, last-minute plots that we're putting in for guys. And uh, right now we've got a uh, killer plot that's going in um, for a deer that's been known in the area quite a bit. And my hunch is that he travels a long timber corridor uh, across several different properties. And in this case, for this landowner, we're putting in a quick kill plot for him. And the reason I call this a kill plot, it's a very small plot. It's very, very secluded. It's in some thick, thick, heavy underbrush. And we've skid steered this out. This has taken us the uh, majority of the morning right now. And it's only about a quarter acre again. But it's uh, adjacent to a small pond that I'm sure this deer frequents. And uh, we don't uh, have, have any pictures of them yet this year. But this is so thick of an area, it's almost impossible to get a picture of a deer that's traveling through here. So what we're doing is uh, creating that little special kill plot. And we've got several features in this that are in most of our plots. Uh, one of those, as many of you see our videos, is a pond. You can see that here behind me. It's a small pond where Shuri visits uh, from time to time because there just isn't a whole lot of timber uh, timber ponds around in the area and that's a big bonus if you don't have any around and you can help create some uh, or nestle up to some like we did in this scenario uh, you have a very very high chance of uh, scoring an early summer on a, on a good deer uh, especially if there's one particular buck that you're after that's a dominant buck almost as surely if a pond's in heavy cover like this he's going to be here at some point um, just hope that you're in the stand at the same time. So one of the things that we do as we enhance this project is we put a little barricade around certain areas of the plot. And you can see this here is a wall of brush. And it's high enough that even as the leaves come down, if we get into November hunting this deer in particular, those, those leaves still won't be an issue. There's going to be a ton of brush that's left over there, and those deer are not going to be able to pass through it. That leads down to a trail that zips on out to our access trail. We had to create that as well. And then behind me here, obviously, is, is the remainder of the plot. Now, when you get up in the corner of the plot, it's got an extra little uh, piece on it. We've created kind of an island of trees. That island of trees is uh, not only aesthetically pleasing, it also serves a little bit of a function. When you're dealing with big bucks, uh, mature bucks, and in the instance here, we have several bucks that are probably in that four to five age, class, age, age range. Um, we want to have uh, places where they can rub in heavy cover and uh, that's what this is basically for. It's a social thing. We want uh, deer to stake their claim into this pond as they move in and out uh, throughout the ruts so that we're bringing new deer into the plot throughout the entire uh, year going, in, or throughout the entire fall and winter that uh, may have never been in this area before that are out trolling around. We want them to call it home too. So anyhow, that's a couple little tips for you. Hope it helps you. For those of you out there doing your own stuff, remember you can do this on your own. It's not super difficult. Um, it does get kind of expensive and costly, but uh, as we all know, big deer generally come at a cost if at least if you're consistently killing them and uh, hats off to all those guys out there who are able to do uh, kill big deer consistently um, without enhancements um, this is just a love for the sport that we have and we love uh, watching our clients kill big white tails so best of luck to you out there and uh, hope you are uh, having a great day on this awesome summer day with the overcast and uh, rain is coming probably it looks like sometime today for all you who just get in plots so good luck out there and uh, shoot straight